is me. Make those hands on the top and bottom. Okay, you got these big things here, and we're gonna squish everything down onto the x-axis. So I'll know what x values are in the equation or in the graph. Well, think about what's gonna happen. This circle right there is gonna end up like this, and everything's gonna get squished down over to here. Okay, got squished down at the x-axis. And what happens over here? Well, that open circle stays there, and we've got this line that goes to positive two. So everything got squished down like that. And this one also gets squished to there. The open circle on top of a closed dot, you have to ask yourself, this means it doesn't exist at that point, but this one means it does. So it, it the result is it does exist. Okay, we're covered by this point right here. We don't care about that open dot. And then we go all the way to four. Okay, that's what happens when you squish the entire function onto the x-axis. And it makes it very easy to read this as a number line. Now I can say my domain goes from negative five with a parentheses because it's an open circle to negative four with a bracket because that's a closed dot. Union, because we have to skip over a whole bunch of stuff. This stuff we're skipping over. And then we get to negative one and we go all the way till four. We do not stop at two to make another union symbol. We don't need to because this is a continuous set of x values. There's no place on this line where we don't have an x value existing somewhere. Either it exists up here or it exists down here, but it is somewhere. Okay, so there's your domain. Now we're gonna do the range the same way. It's gonna take two big hands and squish this thing down, except now, because it's the y values we're talking about, we're squishing it in towards the y axis. Okay, so that's, that's the image I want you to think about here. So what happens? Well, the quadratic is easy. That just gets squished like this. Okay, so we squish that thing down into the y axis. And then we have this linear function on the left, and that comes cruising in here, and that squishes down also. Now, an open circle does not create an open circle. Remember what an open circle means. It means there's no y value right there but there sure is one over here already. Okay, we've already got a y value there, so we don't care that we're missing a y value right here. That doesn't matter. But what happens is we get even more y values added. All these negative numbers going down as low as negative two. Okay, so now I've got this whole area covered. Those are all y values that exist somewhere on the function. And then this one's kind of funny. When that squishes down, it just creates a little dot right here. Okay, so there's my range of values. And the way I would say this using interval notation is the following. I would start at the lowest one, negative six. And we have to write it this way, negative six to negative six, or the computer's gonna scream at you. But honestly, if you had just said negative six inside brackets with no comma negative six, that would, that would be fine, I think. But since it's computer homework, make sure you, you make the computer happy. So then we go to the next lowest value, that's negative two and we go all the way up to positive four. And that's it, that's our range.